Welcome to Healing Moments with Evangelist Chichi Emodi. The Lord has laid it in my heart to do this every single week. Psalm 10720 is the scripture he gave me. And he says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their distresses. Stay tuned and you will be blessed and you will receive your healing. Your healer. I am the God. Welcome to Healing Moments. Thank you for tuning in today. And this is the moment that God Almighty has ordained to heal you, to make you whole, like I've always said. This is the moment that God Himself chose to come on the scene and allow His power to be made manifest in as many as we believe. But the key is that you have to believe because without faith it's impossible to please God. The scripture says that whoever must come to God must come believing that he is and he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. And that's in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. If you tune in every time, that means you're diligently seeking God or even if you run into the program just by, you know, chance. Release your faith and you will receive your healing in Jesus' name. There's something that is so sad that happened in the Bible. And every time I read it, it makes me sad. So can we read it? It's in Matthew chapter 13. And it's talking about Jesus going to his hometown. And that is in, uh, from verse 53. It says, when Jesus finished teaching with these stories, he left there. He went to the town where he grew up. He taught the people in the synagogue and they were amazed they said where did this man get such wisdom and this power to do miracles isn't he the son of the carpenter we know isn't his mother mother's name mary aren't his brothers james joseph simon and judas and don't all his sisters still live here in town how is he able to do these things so they had a problem accepting him but jesus said to them people everywhere give honor to a prophet but in his own hometown or in his own home, a prophet does not get any honor. Jesus did not do many miracles there because the people did not believe in him. How sad. And I know that is what may be happening right now. There are some people that will say, is it, is it not Jesus? Since when did she start having a television uh, station? The Bible says that Jesus did not do many miracles there because the people did not believe. Do you believe Jesus is of the same to make you whole and to heal you of that disease? You don't have to carry that burden. In just a moment, you can be healed. If only you can release your faith. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over that foul spirit. Every spirit of infirmity, I bind you right now. And I cast you out in Jesus' name. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. The Bible says that Jesus Christ himself took our sins on the cross. That we've been dead to sin, might live unto righteousness. By whose stripes ye were healed. First John chapter 1 and verse 5b says, God is light in him, there is no darkness at all. Sickness has no place in you. Darkness and light cannot stay together. The Bible says the light shines and darkness cannot comprehend it. If you can re release your faith right now, you will be healed. Jesus Christ lives in you. And when Jesus Christ is in you, darkness cannot stay there. But you know, by the way, if you're not born again, this is the time to give your heart to Jesus Christ. Because except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So when you make Jesus the Lord of your life, he is light. He comes in full force. What is that candle of sickness that can withstand the mighty light of the creator? Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. And if you're not born again, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and be my personal Savior. I believe you died on the cross of Calvary. You rose up on the third day. Now I ask you, come and live in my heart. In Jesus name. And if you pray that prayer, you're born again. And I want to say a very big congratulations to you. Once again, this is Evangelist Chichi Emodi. And this is, this is healing moments. The moment that God has ordained to heal you. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you in the very next episode of Healing Moments.